Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the game World War 3. Uh, the game is currently uh, early access, so you will see that the game is not well optimized, but the game is running well, but the thing is, you will not see a big difference between high, low, uh, or, or ultra to low. Uh, when you go to advanced and uh, the different quality setting that you can change so normally when you you can't really see it uh, It's because the game is not well optimized for now But I'm pretty sure they will release patch and it will be better But honestly on my computer it the game is running really well for a game that just got released So first of all make sure that you're playing full screen. I saw a, a bit of uh, issue with uh, window mode or um, borderless so playing full screen make sure that you're using the your proper screen resolution i'm playing full hd uh if after all the change you still don't get your 60 fps for sure lower your resolution and get something like 720p i'm disabling v-sync i don't want to v-sync with my screen and i want to unlock my fps and i don't want input lag so that's why i'm disabled here the other thing that i remove it's motion blur uh, I really don't like the, the this effect. Sometimes I'm keeping motion blur when I'm playing a single player, when, but when I'm playing a first person uh, multiplayer game, I always remove it. I don't like the effect. One frame thread lag, I didn't see any difference between this one, so maybe you should test it on your side, uh, but it didn't give me more or less FPS. So this one, just look at it. After that, in advanced resolution, resolution scale, uh, 100. You can go uh, to 95 if you want uh, after all the changes that I will show you. But this is last resort because you will see that your graphic quality will decrease a lot. So uh, even at 95, you will still see like some blurriness and some pixel. So make sure that you're playing at 100. But if after all the change, you're still, I don't know, you're getting like 40 FPS, you can touch your resolution scale. Uh, for frame rate lock, I'm using disable. I don't want to frame rate lock anyway when I do my change I want to see if I have an improvement or not I dynamic range uh, frame rate smoothing and dynamic resolution just disable those one after that I'm using those settings right for the texture you it's it's about your VRAM on your video card I have 8 gigs so on my side I don't have any issue honestly if you have 3 gig and more play at high or ultra if you have 2 gig play at medium and if you have less than 2 gig play at low Mesh, I didn't see a big improvement here, like 1 to 2% for each bracket, so I'm playing at medium, but this one is not a big impact. Lighting, you will see a better impact on your FPS, 2 to 3 FPS, uh, not 2 to, 2 to 3 person, sorry, by bracket. So ultra to medium, I almost like got 5% uh, increase on my FPS, so that's pretty decent. Effects. In fact, you will not see a big improvement. It's more like when you fight and you have explosion and stuff like that, you will have a lot more stability in your FPS. So you will not necessarily see it when you just play the game and running around, but it's more like uh, when you're fighting and stuff, your FPS will be more stable. Post-processing, not a big improvement here. One to two F, uh, two percent again. Um, not really this one, when you change it, uh, ultra to medium, you see more uh, increase. So probably it will change with all the patch that they will release. Uh, view distance, really important. This one is take, take a lot of resources because if you're playing ultra, your uh, view distance, you render everything very far in the map. And those Mac are really big in the game. So uh, this one, if you have like an integrated video card, laptop and stuff like that, make sure that you're playing medium or even low. Shadow, I'm seeing a nice improvement here, 2 to 3 FPS. Uh, I'm putting it at low because shadow for me it's not really important in the game and you will still see the shadow of your enemies so that's good uh, just put in this one at low and you will uh, gain a nice chunk of FPS foliage uh, normally foliage I'm getting more FPS when I change this one but in this game it's one to two percent again so that's fine uh, when I launched the game everything was at, at ultra uh, with all the change that I made I gained like something like 20 to 25 FPS it's not very. It's it's not a lot because I everything was at ultra and I put a lot of stuff to uh, medium and even low, but still it's a nice gain for my eye refresh rate uh, monitor. The last one anti aliasing. Uh, this one I'm putting medium because even at low, honestly, all the objects are kind of breaking and, and you're thinking, is it an enemy is moving and stuff? So I'm p putting this one at medium. When were you done with the game? Uh, you can go in the config file. I will show you where is it. So it's your in your C drive users 
uh, the name of your computer, app data, local, World War Three, save, config, windows, no editor. We'll have, have a file called game user setting. And this is where you will see all your setting. Also make sure uh, to see your app data. You need to uh, see all your um, hidden file on your computer because app data is hidden on Windows. So this is pretty much the game. Uh, you have all the setting that you change inside of the game and you have other stuff here. The only thing that I can tell you is here, use HDR display output, put this one at false. Sometimes by default is that true even if you don't have an HDR uh, display and you lose a lot of FPS with uh, the HDR feature. I had that issue on the No Man's Sky and I was like losing 20 FPS just because of that. So make sure that it, uh, it's at false. Uh, also, with all the new patches that they will release, uh, probably you will see some stuff uh, adding on here. So uh, this is where you can uh, modify your file. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section of the video. Post me your rig, so CPU, RAM, and GPU. I will try to help you the best that I can and tell me what kind of issue that you have, like stability or you want more FPS or whatever. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, guys.